Why hello there everybody, it's your boy Shadow Psycho and sorry for not like uploading for a whole freaking week uh, I had some troubles at home and uh, I forgot to notify Blaze so he's probably gonna be pissed off at me when I send this to him <laughs> but uh, yeah this will be part two of what if Deku had rewind uh, and by, uh, by I feel like whack underscore o2 as you remember <laughs> so uh, yeah let's get into it so where we last off le left so where we last left off uh, well basically uh, Deku uh, was marking people that he cared for and wanted to protect. And uh, he also saved Derry in the beginning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you know the whole thing. <laughs> this uh, this has already been done on Ryan's channel. And there are quite a few people that wanted it again. Alright, so sorry for getting distracted, but... Okay, we continue off with... It's f it was finally time. Izuku was on his way to pick up Eri, but then re he realized something. He decided Eri will uh, have to. W he sighed. Eri will have to wait a bit. He took a, a detour, and on cue, an explosion came. Izuku ran to the source. He mingled with the crowd and finally found his way to the front. He saw his master's skinny form standing and holding onto a lamppost, with horror-stricken look on, on his face. For a second, Izuku felt like running to him, but he held it together. Bakugo needs help. He pulled his hood up, donned his mask. It was simple, just a plain white mask with black eye holes. Simple was best sometimes. The scariest things would be the most simple. Uh, the hooded boy walk, uh, walked out and uh, all eyes turned to him. Izuku wondered what quirk he should use. He had so many, he didn't know what to use. Self destruction, he thought. This villain had already tried to kill him once. And his reason to be a villain was a crappy one. He walked up to the villain. Everyone gasped and began to panic. Bakugo was confused. The villain swung at Izuku. The moment his sludge hand uh, had reached the masked boy, it exploded. The villain exploded. The slime didn't seem to move. It slowly began to change back to flesh and was it was dead. Everyone stared in horror. The hero stood frozen. Bakugo sat frozen and looked up to the boy. Izuku's palm began to glow and he struck Bakugo in the chest. There were screams as Bakugo screamed in pain. Izuku's sixth sense quirk told him something was coming in fast. With the one for all, he jumped onto the building and looked down at to his master. He felt disgusted with himself. He, he just killed someone and opened a uh, all night launch at him. Izuku shot a blaze at him. It wasn't intended to hurt him, but just the wall as he teleported away. All might turn back to find the mark of the drifters on the wall burning with bright flames. The crowd and heroes looked in horror, a burning uppercase D with a feather intertwined in it. All Might went to the blonde boy who was sh starting, uh, staring at the mark. He quickly ripped his shirt to find the mark tattooed on his chest. All Might knew immediately to put this boy and his family under protection. Izuku sighed and walked out the alley. 
He had teleported himself uh, to. It was close to every school. He walked on over and was met with a, a smiling bu bundle of joy. How was your day? He asked. It was great. What about you? She asked. Her face changed immediately. Takuni, did something bad happen? Uh, did did something bad again? Did didn't you? Did you? <laughs> Really, let my eyes rest more. Yeah. Guess you could say that. I had to save a friend, though. He defended. No, De Deku is a villain, but a good one, I can tell. Izuku looked down at the girl. He sighed. He got down to her level. Eri chan, promise me you won't become like me. I want you to grow up and be something, someone good. It's okay if I become a hero, she asked uh, sheepishly. Izuku couldn't uh, be happier. Yes, Eri, I want you to become a hero, he told her with a smile. Izuku and Eri lived in a simple apartment. None of the members knew who he was. No one did. He was a ghost. He was safe. Harry was safe, as long as he uh, stayed low. Izuku's latest deed was beat, uh, beating him into in the neck. Harry was asleep. He summoned a sentient being to watch over her uh, so he could walk. Bakugo was mad. He was saved by a villain and then marked. Bakugo was mad. He was saved by a villain and then marked. His mother was freaking out. She had gone to visit the shitty nerd's mom. And when she got the news, she went crazy. For what reason, he found a family, a uh, familiar feeling coming off the villain, off from the villain. It was as though he knew him from somewhere. He couldn't uh, con concentrate on his work, uh, he just felt really mad. He looked for something to do and decided to go for a walk. Izuku didn't bother about bringing uh, his mask. He was tired and didn't want to, uh, want to see that thing. He didn't want to see that thing at the moment. Oh gosh. <laughs> My eyes aren't working right now. He still needed to mark more people. His friends, oh my, Aizawa, his mum, Gran Torino, he felt drained. It was pretty dark. Izuku learned, uh, leaned on the railing of the bridge and looked out. Deku, he heard a familiar voice. Bakugo was just walking and then he saw him. Curly green hair, freckles on, on his cheeks, uh, on his cheek, uh, facing nothing, uh, start standing, uh, starting out at nothing, staring out at nothing. Bakugo froze. It was the shitty nerd. He didn't know what to do, and so he just called out to him, Deku. Yuzuku mentally face formed. He was con uh, concerned, Cor cor cornered. <laughs> uh, shit, shit, shit. He thought I I shouldn't have I shouldn't had come out for this stupid walk. Damn it! I'm not ready to see Kanchan. I'm not ready for anyone to recognize me. Shit! What what should I do? Should I? I should run. Should I teleport? No, that will confuse him. I'm still quirkless to him. Deku, Bakugo shouted and turned to the boy. Uh, turned the boy around. Bakugo froze when he saw him face to face. It was him. 
It was Midoriya Izuku. Yo, yo, Izuku said awkwardly. Yo, yo, Bakugo replied. Yo, you're, you're, are you fucking messing with me? Where have you been? Why are you out late? A gruff voice came out behind them. Both turned to see a scruffy man in need of sleep. Bakugo feels as though he uh, somehow knew this man. Aizawa uh, was doing his rounds when he suddenly heard shouting. He followed it and uh, found a spiky blonde and curly green head. The boys looked familiar, but he couldn't put a finger on where he had met them. Izuku couldn't see what they were feeling. It was written all over their faces. He alone knew everything. Izuku needed to get away, now. Kanchan, could you let go of me, he asked. Let go? Let go? Y fuck you, I'm not, Bakugo shouted. Aizawa raised an eyebrow at the two. Uh, you've been fucking gone for two uh, years, and you want me to let go? Do you have any idea what happened to your mother? What what the fuck is wrong with you? Aizawa was being uh, completely ignored. I do, I visit her every day, just not normally. Izuku replied, trying to break free. Baku wasn't letting go. Izuku sighed in, dis in disbelief. He was an idiot. You both know that there are are, there's a possible drifter around these parts, Aizawa said, gaining their attention. I'm going to kill that bastard when I see him, Bakugo shouted at the pro hero. The drifters won't harm you, Izuku sighed uh, once more. He needed to get out of, the, out of this and fast, but Aizawa was right here. It would probably be in, uh, his only chance at the moment. Izuku broke free and slumped back. Aizawa uh, caught him and then Izuku's hand began to glow as he burns the mark onto him. Bakugo freezes. Aizawa drops to his knees in pain and Bakugo finally moves but Izuku is now long gone. <coughs> Did he just see what he just saw? Was, was he the, the, vil the villain that saved him? Aizawa put up his, pulled up his sleeve to find the drifter symbol tattooed on his hand. That only confirmed that Izuku was one, the one who saved him. So uh, that's just about it for today. I am uh, very tired right now, even though if I woke up <laughs> just now. Sorry for rambling, but I hope you did enjoy this video. Please consider liking and subscribing, yada yada yada, that, that YouTube BS, I really don't like that, but you have to do that, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next one, see ya!